Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today we're going to demonstrate to you how to extract someone using a Kendrick extrication device. First thing we need to do is when we approach is take up C-spine control straight away. Okay, don't move your head left or right or up or down when answering your questions. Do you understand? Yes? Excellent. Direct your assistant pre-hospital provider to come in and take up C-spine control. On. When this is done, you mm -hmm. carry out CSMs on all four limbs of the patient. Size the patient for a collar and apply a collar. I'm just going to apply this collar. Again, it's just totally a safety precaution to help you not do any further damage. Happy that the collar is in place. Remove your kit device from its packaging. Once you're happy that the straps are ready to go, move the patient slightly forward and the guy at the head always controls the movement of the patient. Okay, prepare to move and move. There. Place your head in behind the patient. Make sure that your groin strap for your opposite leg is gone across. Then lower your patient back against your splint. First move and move. And stop. When you're happy, it's in place. The straps go on in an order. Middle strap first, followed by the bottom strap. Followed by the two groin straps. Seesaw the straps into the groin like so. Sometimes there's an advantage to put some cloth in at the groin to prevent pressure being applied to the groin area. Okay, this is all partially measured heat.
Okay, and then short end, your top, your straps are firm, hook in the middle. Next up is the head straps. You may get padding to fill the void behind the patient. If there is a void between the patient and the skin. Trying to rest the strap onto the chin guard of the collar, like so. And then the last strap to go on. is the top strap, which is around the chest. And tighten this strap, get the patient to breathe in. So can you breathe in from your ear? Okay. And then proceed to tighten all your straps in that order. Middle, tuck it in. Bottom, tuck it in, groin, groin, Head, ensuring the head is tight. Happy enough there. Okay, just remove just that onto the chin. And the last one, the top. Breathe in for me, Gary. If the strap comes loose and you're not happy with it, like this chin strap, take it off, reapply. No problem. And as always, after splitting someone, carry out CSMs on all four limbs.